Hey everybody, Coach Nick here again just for day two's at home workout of the day. It's Tuesday, uh, the 24th of November. Uh, hopefully you had a great first workout session. I'm sure things took a little bit getting used to. Continue to adjust your new settings at home so you can continue to keep up your fitness. Remember, that's what this week is about, adjusting to new settings, but you know you have to keep working towards your goals. Remind yourself, what are those? How can you keep progressing towards those? I'm willing to bet there's some way to do that while you're at home here for the next couple of weeks. With that being said, let's get in our workout, uh, get into our workout today. Uh, we're gonna start with our warm up. Today your warm up's gonna be as follows. It's gonna be two minutes of any kind of cardio. Uh, the number one movement we've been recommending for people at home today is jumping rope. Okay, there's no reason, if you've struggled with jumping rope, there's no reason not to get better at it over the next several weeks. Okay, jumping rope is gonna be my go-to at home cardio piece. So you guys should try it too. If you don't have a jump rope, there are literally endless options on amazon.com. You don't have to go to Rogue or anywhere else. Just go where you can find a jump rope that looks like you can use and start practicing. Okay, you literally could get in uh, uh, um, phenomenal cardiovascular shape alone by just jumping rope. After you've done two minutes of jump roping, could be any kind, uh, go ahead and head into a three minute EMOM of the following. Okay, you're gonna do 10 high knees. I just start with knee to elbows. I wasn't ready to go too fast yet. Uh, then you're gonna do 10 single dumbbell strict press, just five to the left, five to the right. You also could just grab both sides of the dumbbell and press it straight over your head today, whatever feels right to you. And then last but not least, I did 10 single dumbbell bent over rows. And again, I split it up five to the left, five on the right. Just a natural tendency of mine. Uh, again, you could do a single dumbbell row. We're gonna be doing that later. And you could do a single dumbbell press overhead, just grabbing the ends of the dumbbell. If you have a torpedo, it's super easy to do. Uh, go ahead, start your clock for your warm up. This should take at least five minutes. As always, try to, you're more than welcome to extend your warm up to make sure that you are ready to go for the workout today. Go ahead, pause the video, and start your warm up. Welcome back from the warm up. Now it's time for our strength portion. Today you're gonna to do a 15 minute EMOM. On the first movement, we're gonna do a newer movement called a dumbbell pullover. Uh, I demonstrate first laying on the ground. Uh, I start by carefully getting the dumbbell up over my stomach. I have my arms extended as I slowly reach back behind my head. Okay, I do have the mobility to get the dumbbell all the way to the ground, but if you feel any kind of resistance, don't push through it. That's just your sign to go back up with the dumbbell. Get a little bit of a stretch, and then on the way back up, you're gonna think about squeezing your arms down towards your body. And you should feel the muscles right behind your armpits starting to work, those are your lats. This is a very similar feeling to when you do something like a kipping pull-up or a kip swing, okay? Uh, then, uh, the next variation I demo is I put a medicine ball under my back. Now, you might not have a medicine ball at home, but if I was in my apartment, I know I have like an ottoman. Okay, so I could lay on that, or if you have a bench or something like that, or the edge of a couch or furniture, okay? And this will give you a little bit more range of motion. Now again, you don't wanna overreach on this movement. You just wanna go back till you feel a little bit of resistance and then squeeze that dumbbell weight back down, okay, or back over your body. So again, reach back and then squeeze the dumbbell over your body. That's on minute one, you're gonna do this for 45 seconds. On minute two, you're gonna do 45 seconds uh, of a close grip dumbbell press. Now, that would be if you have two dumbbells. Most of us have, and you can see the demo video in the notes above here to see that one. I demonstrate a single arm dumbbell press because most of us probably only have one piece of equipment. Now, if you got a heavier dumbbell or a torpedo or a kettlebell, you could use both hands to press this today and you will be doing the close grip dumbbell press. If you have one dumbbell, as I demo here in the video, you're just going to press. And you can alternate it two different ways. If you're really close to your timer and you, you, know, you can see what the time is, you could go split it up 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other. Or you could alternate arms by round since it is a 15 minute EMOM. You might have to finish an extra set though if you're worried about staying even, okay? Minute three, you're gonna do a 45 second plank on the front, pretty straightforward. Uh, big key though on the plank, right? Uh, you can do this from your knees, 
You can do this from your toes, all right? But you have to be bracing your core. Check out this video when I get on my knees here. And I just demonstrate what it should feel like uh, visually, right? I'm pulling my elbows down. You can see me overemphasizing the crunching or bracing my core. And you should feel your abdominals uh, way more engaged when you start to think about this, okay? Your entire body should be braced, uh, but you should have your neck and your face relaxed, okay? Don't pass out on this one. Uh, do your best to get the 45 seconds of blanking. I know this can be really, really difficult. Go ahead and pause the video at this time and start your strength portion. Welcome back from the strength portion. Now it's time for our workout of the day. Today we have a push and pull workout and it can be pretty intense. Uh, today you're gonna do five sets. Each set is a three minute AMRAP, so that's as many rounds as possible. At the end of that three minute AMRAP, you're gonna get a one minute break. Now, during that three minutes, you're gonna do the following. One dumbbell thruster, two dumbbell push press, and three dumbbell bent over rows. In the video, you see me going through this and touching the dumbbell to the ground after a set. Uh, that might make this a little bit more difficult and turn this into a dumbbell thruster squat clean. You don't have to do it that way. You also see me doing this after the rows. I just take the dumbbell from a hang position and I go right into a squat clean. Again, we're just thinking stand up, shrug, and squat under the dumbbell weight, going right into the thruster, okay? This workout can get pretty nasty if you try to hang onto that dumbbell and not break between rounds. Okay, as you get more and more fatigued, you may end up having to break up your rounds. Okay, try not to rest though during the one thruster, the two push press, the three bent over rows. You should not have to rest during that piece. If you're going to rest, it's at the end of each set. So the end of that set would be your three single arm, uh, single dumbbell over, uh, bent over rows. And then maybe a short break and pick it up again. Now, because we have sets, uh, your goal here, your score is going to be your total rounds and reps today but your goal should be to get the same number of rounds and reps every round, okay? You're gonna start each set back at dumbbell thrusters. Go ahead, after you've gone through a practice round or two of this and you feel ready, stop the video and start your workout. Awesome work today, friends. Thank you so much for joining us for day two of Progression's at-home workout video series. Uh, we're so lucky to have you here and I'm so glad that you tuned in today. Remember, this week is all about getting settled into new routines. So whatever you did today, I'm sure it was your best. Awesome job. We'll see you for Wednesday's at-home workout of the day. Bye.